That's all I have to say. In the good and the bad and the ugly, hallelujah. That's all I have to say. I don't need any argument, but all I don't say that is hallelujah. Malibu, shara da da diye de de. Brakate de ba shele bale. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, Jesus. Father, want to thank you for your presence with us. Want to give you glory for the heavens that have been opened. Want to thank you for a new year. Thank you for starting with us like this. We want to give you glory. Let the embargo be lifted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the new year start with us on a good note in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord a shout of praise. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Heavenly Father, your name is wonderful, your name is glorious, your name is beautiful. I worship you for you are mighty, you got a whole world in your hand. Heavenly Father, your name is wonderful, your name is glorious, your name is beautiful. I worship you for you are mighty, you got a whole world in you. Heavenly Father, say, Heavenly Father, your name is wonderful, say, your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful, I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty, you got a whole world in your hand. Your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful. I worship you for you are mighty. You got a whole world in you. Everybody say, I believe. Say your name is come and pray. Say your name is beautiful. I worship you for you are mighty. You got a whole world in you. We declare it. Say you got a whole. Today, today. 
worthy Lord. She was 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 angels are singing. She was worthy. She was worthy. Welcome to your glory. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome somebody to church this morning. And I just want to wish the person a happy new year. It's a wonderful year. It's a glorious year. Make sure the person is smiling. Make sure the person is happy. Say something good to that person. Hold somebody. Tell them that you love them. Put your hands together and pray. Hey, hold somebody. Hold somebody. Tell them that you love them. Put your hands together and praise the Lord. Oh, somebody. Tell him that you love him. Oh, put your hands together and praise the Lord. Oh, somebody. Tell him that you love him. I love you. Put your hands together. here this morning with an expectation. Hallelujah. You have an expectation. In the year of glory, you need to live ready for anything can happen. We need to live expectant. We need to live ready. Hallelujah. Because God has a beautiful thing for us this morning. Amen. And transformation has started already. Amen. Amen. We are not waiting to tomorrow. We are not waiting till another time. My transformation starts now. 
Hallelujah. So with that expectation in your hands, I just in your heart, I just want you to lift your hands to heaven and just talk to God. Talk to God that God, my transformation, my glory starts now. My transformation starts now. In the name of Jesus, I come into the service with an expectation. I come into the service with a great expectation. I come into the service ready, Lord, for your transformation. I come into the service ready for your touch of glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let me experience your glory in the name of Jesus in the higher dimension this morning. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let me experience you in a greater dimension this morning. Lord, let me see you, let me hear you in the name of Jesus. Touch me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. God is here to do something wonderful in our midst. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name for glory. We thank you, Lord, for this glory. We thank you, Lord, for this glory. In the name of Jesus. But we have so many things to thank God for. We have so many things to thank God for. You are in 2018. You are standing here not by power, but you are standing by the testimony. As a testimony of God's mercy. As a testimony of God's grace. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship is so. So, Father, we are open to your. We're ready for your power. We're ready for your touch. We're ready for your transformation. Lord, everything that we need, the grace we need, Lord, open our eyes to it, even as it drops into our lives and hands now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord, for what you would do. In the name of Jesus. Let us take our hymn. We're going to sing together an hymn this morning. And I want to sing with the whole of your heart. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my
to the pulpit, our uh, evangelist, our uh, pastor, our own brother, our own father, and God bless you. Happy New Year, sir. God bless you. God bless you this morning, and put your hands together for him, sharing time with us this special morning. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. What a privilege. Ask your neighbor or tell your neighbor what a privilege to see 2019. What a privilege to see 2019. Hallelujah. Amen. Like we promised during the service in the night, we are going to keep it straight to the point, but not without shooting bullets. Are you ready to shoot bullets? Did you come with your gun? Can I see your gun? No, no, ah, no. I want to see. I didn't say point it at me. You raise it up now. Amen. Lift up your two hands and worship him again. Let's exalt him. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. Shagadibo lagada yante re gada vosh tari azagadaba. Agasso toro bo kushta kaina. Agasso toro bo kushta liba kanda yida vasada. Agadibo kushta kainda lato kovre sata. Hallelujah. Can we take the song? You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor as we lift up our hands to worship. Please, let's go ahead. You deserve the glory. Come on, let's worship him. I need help here. And the, and the honor. honor. Hallelujah. Lord, we, we lift our hands in worship. <laughs> as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. The glory. And the honor. 
Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. Father, we want to thank you for the gift of life. We give you honor and praise in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 70. This is a continuation of what we're doing yesterday. We're going to spend some time praying. I'll just preach, then we pray. You can't over pray, amen? But you can under pray. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 70. I'm going to read contemporary English version. But the Lord keeps me from being disgraced. Were you here at the What's Night service? So I refuse to give up because I know God will never let me down. I want you to pray. Say, Father, Father. as you live, as your name live, in 2019, I will never be let down. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Zakete yelebo shanda, a yeki da brekede lebo sinta, a yeke toronda kasata, a gete palige de brokosta. I will never be let down. In the name of Jesus, emotionally, financially, ministry wise, maritally, as the Lord liveth. Ah, makute yende, I will not be let down. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Gazuta la bakushte, azegede broko tomashanda, yenda kaloboso tora gayinda, ezika tayete palige de boshta. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want you to decree. Say, I decree between now and December 31st, my sweat my effort will not waste lift up your voice and begin to pray father in the name of jesus i decree and i declare from now till the end of this year my sweat will not waste my effort will not waste my sweat in the place of prayer daddy my sweat in investment my sweat in ministry will not waste Pray, pray, pray. Zena kahunta ya libosha. Ezekete libro konto. Ayema makupa yeva. Shato logo roga dayanda. Pray, pray. Set it as a law. In the name of Jesus. Anto logo risha dalianda. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want you to pray for yourself using the language of the third party. You are going to say, I decree concerning you. Banji adesomi. This new year, you will not know pain. You will not see pain. You will not touch pain. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I decree concerning you in the name of Jesus. Banji, you will not know pain. Your children will not know pain. 
Ayaka bula sita rabosta. Avanina kotoronda. Ayekete libro kosta. Ezinta la makute yanda. In the name of Jesus, I will not walk in pain. I will not walk with pain. I will not wake up with pain. I will not sleep with pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, the hand of God, the finger of God, the grace of God will keep and preserve me. Maluto konda yele bosta, egeyente regenimo zalabaste, egenina kalibro koso toli anda yadama. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I don't know some of these prayer points. I'm not sure if your faith can carry them, but these are prophetic prayers that when you are forgotten and the devil want to mess around, the angel will just go and open the vault and bring out the answer to one of the prayer and just show the devil. Oh boy, where were you on January 1st? He has dealt with this. You can't touch him. You yourself don't even know what, has, what is happening behind your back. So this is very prophetic. You speak to every month this year. You call them one by one. You, for example, you will say, January, you will obey me. You know, whatever you want, I, can't, I don't want to put words in your mouth. So if you like, you can keep quiet. You call each month and you will say, in the name of Jesus, Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree. Now you begin to mention each month and mention what you want them to do for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I announce to January, you will pay me. You will bring me joy. February, you will cause increase to come upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree as a servant of the Most High, March, we respect us. March, we lead us. In the month of March, we will never lack direction to march forward. In the name of Jesus, by the fourth month of the year, my finances will be greater than all that I experienced in 2019. In the name of Jesus, Father, it will be easy for me in the month of May. I will not struggle in the month of May. June, as the Lord live it, when I enter you, I will enter laughing. During the month, I will laugh. After the month, I will laugh. You will bring me laughter. July, Tayanda. You will cause establishment to be for me. I announce it. I decree it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you will bring a lifting to me, an uncommon lifting, an unexpected lifting in the name of Jesus. Bayoto Kayanda Sada. September, you will be the month of surprises, godly surprises, supernatural surprises. Ganto Yeni Kashada, Elebre. Mama Tutayanda, Eleida Kasoto, Eragatayanda Hasakata. September, I will celebrate. My family will celebrate. There would be joy. Evil will be averted. Pain will be averted. In the name of Jesus, in October, I will make progress. Oh, Yakulia Shadarianda. In November, Mosuka Alite Kayanda. My hand will touch it. All that I've been aspiring for, that by that time I've not gotten, I will receive it in the name of Jesus in the month of December oh 11th hour miracles will find me in the name of Jesus my bowl will be full of divine blessings in Jesus mighty name we are prayed hmm. well, one of the things the Lord has been saying about 2019 that was confirmed also yesterday was that 2019 will be the year of ease. Amen. It will just be easy. Amen. So now, the same way you did for each month, you will call each day of this year, from Sunday to Saturday. Anything that you want to be easy, you will decree it. Let me give you the scripture. If you read Genesis 26 very well, it was a difficult time. There was famine. Everybody was struggling. In fact, Isaac wanted to move. God said, stay there. Stay in Bitoa. Where you are at, I'm going to bless you. And the Bible says in verse 12 of Genesis 26, then Isaac sold in that land and received the same 2019. Actually, if you see that Isaac is a five-letter word. So when they were typing that scripture from heaven, that I, they changed it to B, the S-A, then another A. Did you see it? Then the N, then the J-I. So then Banji sold in that land. You are jealous. Say amen for me. Say amen now. Amen. At least if you can't say it for yourself after me, then you say amen for me. Then you did, did look at it. Open your, you will see. Then Banji sold in that land. 
jealousy, now jealousy go follow you. Then Banji sold in that land and received the same 2019. That year they wrote there is actually 2019. A hundred fold kaputa yada kasata. You better look at me very well because next time you are seeing me, you will see me on CNN. And look at what he said. And Jehovah blessed him. And the man became great. Everybody do your hand like this. Now, if you want to prophesy, you say, I decree. I then you mention the days one by one. Everything you read there, I will show. I would receive a hundredfold and I will become great. Then you move to the next day. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, every Sunday in 2019, as I sow the seed of Sabbath, as I sow the seed of worship, as I sow the seed of ministry work, I decree and I announce, oh, there will be an increase in hundredfold in the souls that are won, Father, in children that are born, in deliverances that will happen, in the name of Jesus, oh, Gabo Shadaraba, in the rewards of service, quantum reward, testimony rewards for service, in the name of Jesus. Father, every Monday in this new year, Malakuta Yanda 2019, I will not be confounded. You will teach me to sow. You will lead me to sow. In the mighty name of Jesus, every Tuesday, I will not be confused. Every Tuesday, my ground will be fertile. Oh, the hand of heaven will help me. The grace of God will help me. In the name of Jesus, witness this. I speak to you, Lakuta Yanda, as the sun is coming up, the spirit of reward will come. The favor for answer will come. In the name of Jesus, I speak to Thursdays. Every Thursday, strangers will travel to bless me. Strangers will look for me to help me. Every Friday, Goyonta Lagania Sanda, I announce it. I did decree no malitarianda growth will be my portion i will be great exceedingly great in the name of Jesus, every Saturday this year, by the time my week is rounding up, that I would have reasons every 52 Saturdays to celebrate. I will celebrate. My Saturdays will be filled with joy. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This is the last one. I don't know about you. But I discovered that towards the end of 2018, I became frustrated with begging people to do things for me or begging people to change the way they behave. I don't know if I'm making sense. You know, there are people that the way they do things frustrates you. It makes you to have to plead and beg and sometimes they still don't do it and sometimes there is nothing you can do about it. I want you to cry to God and say, in this new year, concerning me no more beggy beggy i uh, will never beg this year before i ask they will give it to me lift up your voice and begin to pray I will not be a beggar this year. It will be given to me of their own accord. Father, favor will be given to me. Opportunities will be given to me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Holy Spirit, we appreciate you. We thank you for answered prayers. These few minutes, I ask that you give us the word. You will encourage us. You will give us something to take home. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Wow. My father says there is someone here listening to me right now. He said, before the end of the first working day tomorrow, you would be promoted. 
Wow. Thank you, my father. Ayekita rosata libra kashta. My father says there's something you have been saving for, for months, for months, and you are not even sure whether it will happen in 2019. My father says it will happen this January. Thank you. Holy Spirit, we exalt you. We give you honor and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. You can take your seat. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to teach quickly on the topic, the new dawn. The new dawn. Is it not a new dawn? It's a new dawn. Psalm chapter 126. Can you help me put it on the screen? Let me just run through it so that in two, three minutes when I bring out the point. Psalm 126 from verse 1 to 6. Amen. Okay. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, who we were like them that dream it. Then was her mouth filled with laughter and her thong with singing. And they said among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord had done great things for us. Wherefore we are glad. We are happy. Wow. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Amen. <laughs> they that sow in tears will reap in joy. I'm excited here. This is the kind of time I wish I'm not the one preaching. I'm just excited. The word is saturating me. Kayo shada liga huza katagindra pushta. He that went forth and weeped, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless. You know what doubtless means? Guaranteed. Come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him, the new dawn. It's a new season we are going into. And I'm led to announce to you the things that I feel very strongly that the Lord is going to bring to pass. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. The Bible says what for the new thing I'm going to do. Good news version. He said it is happening already. That means I'm not going to wait till next month. I'm not going to have to wait till June. God is doing it now. I may not feel it. I may not understand it, but it is working on my case. You know what I've discovered? The greatest miracles that I tasted or experienced of God were the ones I never applied for. I don't know about you. The greatest surprises were the ones I didn't even think was going to come again. But God has a way of surprising his own. He will surprise you. Amen. Even if you don't know how to say amen, he will surprise you. Amen. He said, I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. Do you know what a wilderness is? You know how bad a desert is. So I'm not bothered at how terrible it has been for you in 2018. I don't care. It's a new dawn. Do you know people forgive debt? Let me give you, let me share a testimony with you. This should be sometimes around 20 something years ago. I had a very young family. I was hustling. My wife was barely walking. I got married not knowing what tomorrow is going to offer. Three months to my wedding, I didn't even have a place to take my wife. I just kept on taking a day by faith, fixed the wedding date. These kind of things get me emotional. So I don't know if it's encouraging someone because even me at this level, it's also encouraging me that the next level is here. Then somewhere along the line, my boss came and gave me, as at that time, a 15-year-old car to use. Well, I'm grateful because it was an upgrade on a Volkswagen B2 that was already 20 years old. I couldn't talk, I couldn't complain. That Volkswagen B2 was my life then. After God delivered me from Volkswagen B2, I had a ministry against B2. When I see people with B2, I will call them out and deliver them. That's how terrible it was. I knew that B2 so much that I became a B2 mechanic. When I'm traveling to my hometown and I begin to misbehave, I park at the road and I bring out the tools. And I know how to blow the jet. <laughs> Then one day, the thing wasn't working well, so I needed to use my mouth to throw the jet of the fuel, and the thing went inside my head. I, I, has it ever happened to anybody here before? Kai? It looks like the whole of hell was attacking me at the same time. 
So when my boss gave me the car, he said, if I want the car, if I want to buy it, I can pay. So I uh, shared this emotionally. So I negotiated to pay for like 24 months. There is a God that helps men. That's why I'm confident in 2019, it's not over until God sorts us out. It's a new beginning. It's got nothing to do with your height, your shape. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. When it just happens, it happens, and people say, how did you do it? Then you just smile. You know, there are some, there are some testimonies you can't answer when people ask you. You just be smiling. What did you do? How many people feel what I'm feeling? How did you do it? You still complained last week. Because the truth of the matter is you can't explain it. He said, I will make a road in the desert and water. Water. Have you seen a desert before? Have you been in one? There is no river source. And God said, I will make a road and in that place there will be streams. Not trickle. No trickle. So one day I went to camp. <laughs> I finished praying. And the man of God, the general of had said something like, there's somebody here, God will pay your debts. I did, I've forgotten I even had debts. You know, sometimes you are so used to your problems that when they ask you and they want to help you, you don't even know what the answer is. Do you know that? Remember the Shunammite woman? He said, is there anything you need? He said, look, I'm comfortable. He took a third party to say, Sir, she doesn't have a baby. You take your eyes away from your pain. Take your eyes away from your problem and continue to serve God. Make up your mind that in 2019, Daddy, I'm going to serve you. Serve God that God himself will be intimidated with your service. Then one day, one day, raise up your index finger, point it to the heaven, and shout it with only anger. One day. You don't need 10 days. You don't need 20 days. You don't need 40. You don't need 365. You just need one. So I took my seed. Then I was walking outside Lagos. So I branched in cap and I dropped what I had. And I told God, I said, God, I've always heard about sowing seed, giving to work of ministry to men of God. Let this one be an, a testimony for me that you respect sowing. And when I was going back to the car and driving to Abekut, I heard it loud and clear. I will surprise you. So I got to work and there was a lot of work to do. And since I was out of home, I was working till 11 p.m. in the night. I was in the office. Now, the office is attached to the guest house. So one of my chairmen was, went out, you know, and had some fun and was coming back and he saw light in my office. And he knocked on the door, going to the guest house. And he saw me this walking. And he said, ha. And he was really alarmed. He said, ha, you this boy from Lagos. That's why he calls me then. Don't come and kill yourself here. He's not this serious. I said, sir, I got to finish all this. And I, I don't think I got to, the, to my guest house until like after 12. And I woke up in the morning, went to site, sorted out everything. And when everything finished, they just called me in. Now, the company I was working for seconded me to work as a consultant with this contracting firm. And I was just doing my thing one day. Raise it up again. Raise it. Don't talk here. Just, just make sure you keep wiggling it until it sinks into your medulla umblogata. Yena na katayada. Ayayaya. When you know you got it, you raise it up and say, one day. So in the afternoon, they just walked in. Both of them, two chairmen, John chairman, they walked in and they looked at me and they carried one big brown envelope and dumped it. They dumped it with holy anger on my desk. They would dump it on you. I said, sir, we've already paid them on site on Friday. We're not paying them today. He said, the money, because... <laughs> You know, no matter how small an envelope is, 
the size, even if it's small denomination, the size of the envelope. <laughs> My brother, I like the way, way you take the scribe and show me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, kakatia, yeah. stand up and do it again because that's what you do for the rest of this year. Ah, kakadaya, shanda. God bless you. Remember me, your kingdom, though, because it's coming. No, we are not, we don't just come to church to pray. We pray, we fast, special program, left, right, and center, three days of fire, four days of Mount Oreb. This year, your life will show evidence. Amen. Your backside, evidence. Amen. Your leg, evidence. Amen. Sir, your shoe. Amen. Hey! You know there are some shoes, when the devil even see the shoe, the devil will take a flea. Say, ah, this one. <laughs> this, this shoe. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Agito yagiada, yeah? A yambali shadariada. So when they left, they said this for me. I opened it. My car then, in 1996, was 120,000 naira. I don't know how much that would be, but I guess it would just be, I don't know, maybe one to 50 then, I don't know. And I think I'd paid only 20,000. And I found 100,000 in the envelope. Now listen, sir, as at that time, my salary was 6,000 naira. My salary was 6,000. I got married when my salary was four, five. I've not even started. Look at somebody's family and intimidate them. I haven't started. I haven't started. What are we talking about? Mm. Sir, I don't know if I do mathematics, but someone just gave me one time one spot, like 18 months of my monthly pay. It wasn't annual promotion. It wasn't anything. It was... Am I helping someone? I, I need this sermon more than you. You know, there are times the devil intimidates you with your success. He tells you, what else do you have that you can do? But you know what I've discovered about him? He is a God that is unlimited. And I disagree, sir. I disagree, man. What the Bible told me is when he gives, he doesn't add sorrow. Why do we carry a mentality that when you are blessed, you must know pain? Or you must watch out for pain? God can bless you at home. Bless you at work. Bless you spiritually. And make sure that your kidney doesn't fail. Why do we carry that? Why do we walk in fear? With all the prayer meetings and the fasting, we walk in so much fear. Your kids want to go and play soccer outside. Yeah, 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 don't play with them. Don't play. What? Anybody who wants to be used of hell to disturb you this year, God will give them assignment. I didn't say an assignment. I didn't say an assignment. I said assignments. They will be so busy, they will never remember your first name. They will forget your last name. They will forget the name of your children. God will keep them busy. I don't care who they are. Male, female, gompa, yalaba, shada, family members. Everyone will keep them busy. Even if we go home now, is somebody encouraged? Now let me just mention pa, 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 what is going to happen this year when the new dam comes. Number one, complete restoration. Full relationships will be healed. Yes, long lost friendships is going to be sorted out. <laughs> I've tried to look at it. I don't know one walk on this earth that is more difficult than marriage. If it's business, if proposal A doesn't come, work, and you have some losses, you cut your losses, you move to B. Abi? If B is difficult, you cut your losses, you move to C. But marriage, the only proposal you have, A, B to Z, is with you everywhere you go. You wake up in the morning, you see a fair. You go, okay, you, you dodge, you go to work. Immediately it's five o'clock, then you remember. Ah! 
You are going back home to the only proposal you've got. That's why for some management posts, they are looking for people who are married. Because there is nothing that tests your management skills more than marriage. I don't know which one you prefer. But I know in the last three years, I've met a lot of women between age 48 and 52, and they were never married. And some of them had been born again as teenagers. So it wasn't because they messed up. So stop behaving like it's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. You make the best of what you've got and make up your mind. It doesn't matter what you do to me, but I'm going to kill you with love this year. I will wound you with love. I will destroy you with love. No, you can do whatever you want to do, but from my side, all you're going to get from me is complete restoration. I used to know of this man. He's an elder in the church. He's around 77, 78. We share the same birthday. So every birthday, because I always tell God, when I grow old, I want to be like this man. As an elder, when he sings, he sings like a youth. When he preaches, he preaches like a 40-year-old. He carries grace. When he was walking and we were in our 20s, we usually look forward to him in church. He, he was a mentor. He, he, he's somebody that carries the grace of God upon his life. Then one day we went to visit him at home and he said, let me tell you my story. There was a time my wife and I, before I got born again, we separated for 15 years. And my wife got born again first. I would tell everybody that cares to listen that Tungi is coming back. He said, one day somebody told me that your wife said you are coming back. I said, tell her that she's crazy. But now, we knew them maybe like 25 years ago or 20 something years ago. We never even knew that there was a 15 year story in their lives. You give thanks. Yours is still at home. Yours still comes home, Abby. You still have the home advantage. No, be so. You are the one that still washes his stuffs. Abby, and when you are washing it, begin to speak in tongues. Any day they carry those stuffs to the house of a stranger, stranger will find it difficult to cope. Ngashada. Am I making sense? You have home advantage. Complete restoration. He said, when the Lord turns, complete turn, he can, he can, and some of it is not spiritual. Yes, I'm going to offend somebody's theology now. Uh-huh. You know what I discover? People can fast. People can pray. People can do Bible study. People can preach. They can counsel other people, but they cannot control their anger. That's what I've discovered in Christianity. Very naive set of people. Claiming and receiving, but they're lazy. Eight o'clock appointment, they get there at ten o'clock. Simple things, they won't do it right. The day before, just to take a clean sheet of paper and set a schedule, we don't do. Go and look at the scripture. Great people are scheduled. Abraham was scheduled. Daniel was scheduled. God is not an author of confusion. Jesus was scheduled. Same time. The Bible will say he separated himself. Schedule. Simple discipline. So you want to do 2019 the way you messed up 2020, God will not allow you. Even this restoration that is coming, when it comes, when it comes, your boss that passed you away by sight. You know where I learned this very well? I learned it in soccer. I learned it in soccer. You will see this year, there is coach A, and this guy will be the center of his team. And they will change the coach, and out of the blues, the guy will not even enter the team. He's not injured, though. There's something called favor. Let me give you an example. If you know soccer very well, Victor Moses. For a long time, nobody even knew this guy was playing until a coach called Conte showed up in Chelsea. It doesn't mean I'm a Chelsea fan. So if you're a Chelsea fan, don't get excited. I'm not. But before you start quoting me, I say, Pastor, I know the stuff. I know the dream. Ah, Pastor Banji talked about Chelsea. Ah, see, I'm not a Chelsea fan. And this guy came into the team from loan, and he was a constant. And they won the league. And the coach changed. And the guy wouldn't even play him, and he's not sick. Listen, anything that has reversed the order of your destiny negatively, I reverse it to positive. Complete restoration. Complete. 
I don't know if I've shared the story. You can check it, go online. Inspire. Just Google Inspire Idaosa. You'll find the story. Bishop Fair, the son of Archbishop Idaosa. She he got married to an American. They got married. White woman coming to Benin Kingdom. All the senior ladies in church, all the principalities and power, that's what I call them. They went to the mom and said, oh, you mean out of all these ladies in Church of God Mission, your bishop cannot marry. Let's go and bring Oyibo. And as the devil, we have it first year, no baby. Second, no baby. Third, no baby. They started IVF. One, two, three, four, failed. Did the fifth one, succeeded. American hospital. Three months, four months, pregnancy, six months, nine months, due on arrival, gave birth. She was happy. He was happy. They told everybody in the world. Archbishop Margaret Idaosa was somewhere in Far East. They are, she already threw a party. I have a grandson, my first grandson. Boom, 11 hours after the baby died. <laughs> Luke, you need to wake up. You think you have a problem? You think you have a problem? Oh, because your wife did not talk to you for two days. You better get over and go and hug her, and that will solve the problem. That's the best of your own problem. Just hug her, don't worry. If you leave me alone, just keep your hand there and begin to speak in tongue. Leave me alone. I told you. I told you. Just keep it there for five minutes. After five minutes, then you hear, okay, so what do you want to eat? Aye. Then you just quickly go to the restroom and just look over and say, Daddy, thank you for the wisdom for Pastor Banji. And next time when you are going out, make sure you come. Just buy one Ghana CD of 50 pesos. <laughs> Sweet. That small candy can do miracle. When you are going home, just lift it to the Lord as an offering. Hallelujah. I said, Father, thank you for this seed of faith that I'm going to use today. Thank you because it will open doors of access. Before, your wife was at the living room watching Z World. Immediately she had your car. She would run to the kitchen and start forming busy. <laughs> ah, is anybody home? Well done. Well done. Well done. You just carry your offering. Keep, hold on, hold tight to your seed of faith. And as you move closer to the kitchen, you unwrap it and make sure it sounds. Kemata yalaba. You unwrap it very well. Make sure it sounds and do cre, cre. She has had it. She want to look back, but the spirit of forming is still on her. And she, all of a sudden, she will be washing the plates like there is no tomorrow. Just stretch the sweet perpendicularly to our medulla oblongata and let this sweet show and point it to this is a year of complete restoration in fact the brother serves they are laughing more than the sister God help you sisters in this church this year we will wound you with love brothers is it true come on say yes I love you, Jerry, my bros, my bros. Hallelujah. Number two, number two. It's going to be a year of surprises. Maybe I should finish these other stories. So why do I do the burial of the dead baby? How can you do funeral for a 12-hour-old baby? A man of God prophesied and said, this time next year, or not before, God will surprise you. Exactly a year after, they had another baby. And they had it naturally. No high VF. When God restores, he does it completely. Then, boom, less than one or two years after, she got pregnant again, naturally. While breastfeeding the baby, the second born refused to take breast milk, and she was worried. An elderly woman just told her, say, ah, sometimes when babies reject breast milk like this, it's because you are pregnant. Ah, don't you know my history? And she went and checked, she was pregnant again. Three boys in less than three years after the first door opened, all of them were born naturally. Your days of struggling, they are over. Amen. So number two thing that will come this new door is surprising because the psalmist said, we were like them that dream it. <laughs> we're like them that dream it. I don't like sharing this one. 
This one, because I'll be making fun of myself. See, when I graduated, this one, you want to, you too like gist. You too like gist. When I wanted to start, the brother was just like, come on, shoot. Come on, let it go there. <laughs> come on, give it to me, bro. Come on now. <laughs> I feel you, sir. I feel you. I just feel you, man. I feel you, man. Ah! <laughs> His brother is hot. His brother is hot. Listen to me. This year, they will celebrate you. Amen. They will celebrate you. In Jesus' name. So from B2, I moved to a Santana, 15-year-old. So from there, I moved to a Volvo, 12-year-old. At least I'm making progress. So I just kept on moving organically like that. Then one day, one day, on the beginning of the year, I told God, this year I want to use a brand new car. It fits my color now. Let me use a brand. So when I was ready, I carried myself to Alpha 10 Moto in Dubai. I saw a, an under CRV, brand new. I paid cash, and I shipped it to Nigeria. This was in December. Sir, I did not see this car for the next 10 months. I didn't see it for 10 months. I was going from pillar to post. The travel agents carried this somewhere to the east. Actually, they've sold it, I did not know. And they told the man to wait till December so that they can do the balance. If you look, the other profession I could have done that I could be good at is that of a detective. If you see how I entered Onicha in the night, <laughs> ah, true life story. Nehemiah, he fought. Abi carried knife on one hand, sir, prayed with one hand. I entered Onicha in the night. Hey, I wasn't sleeping the same thing one night. If I got so bad that one day one of the policewomen who, who speaks Igbo language called me called me to the back of the police. He said, sir, if you love yourself, wherever you slept yesterday, don't sleep there tonight. Mm. It was that bad. It was like a typical American action movie. Not this, not this Nollywood, a real action movie. For five days, we didn't know where the car was. The policemen could not make a breakthrough until one day, until one day, they just arrested one of them. And the area commander said, I'm not going to do anything until you go and bring the car. And here I was, five days after being on it, and they drove my car. My brand new car. <laughs> my car that I saved for for 12 months, and I've not seen my car for 10 months. It's been a journey of 12 plus 10 months. Oh, Lord. Africa, are we cost? <laughs> There's too much problem in Africa. If you don't want problem in Africa, make up your mind not to be great. Make up your mind not to do well. Make up your mind not to progress. The day you choose progress, there is an African spirit that hates progress. That's my own conclusion, no? If you marry a man and both of you are very poor and there is nothing to eat, nobody will stress you. Am I talking? But the day he carries you to go and eat New Year brunch, at Labadi. <laughs> and you tell your mother-in-law, Holy Spirit, that's the day where Allah will start. <laughs> Am I making sense? So sometimes, it's better to chop life and chop it <laughs> with screen against monitoring spirit. Mm. You, before you even start chopping yourself, you put it on Instagram. <laughs> you put it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and they are watching you. Sir, when I finally got the car and I was driving it to Lagos, I had to drive it myself. It took me four hours. In fact, three hours, 45 minutes. It was like I flew. And I went with two armed policemen to the teeth. To the teeth. Now listen to me. Somebody will say it's just a car. But in the scheme of things, about my implementation of faith and faith processes, that was important. Am I talking? With the levels that God has taken me after, that breakthrough was important. You know the funniest thing? It took me how many years? I finished school in 1990. I didn't buy this car until 2003. That's 13 years after I leave in school. Oh, yeah, I wasn't born with a golden spoon. I wasn't born with a silver spoon. Sir, I wasn't born with a spoon. 
So some of you, I know, some of you are blessed. Sometimes when my kids say to me, you don't even know anything. You know, Sabian, I wasn't born with a spoon, sir. And don't let me go there today. So forget about the ephesi you are seeing. In the beginning, it was not so. Scripture new. Scripture. <laughs> so you know what happened? Even in the middle of waiting for my car to show up, I was able to buy another brand new Corolla. So all I needed was to take the first step and break forth. Three years after, I bought a Toyota Sequoia Limited. I went to Stalin McCall and I picked it. I said, this is the one I wanted. What am I trying to tell you? This is a new dawn of surprises. Each one you have, we bring another. We bring another. We bring another. We bring another. No, let me also tell you another dimension. Financial surprises, we bring health surprises. Let me close this service. Are you blessed so far? Yes. Number three. This new dawn we bring laughter. Full laughter. He said, then I have mouth was filled with laughter and our thongs with joy. Every laughter killer that wants to rear its head in your life in 2019, heaven will destroy them. Yes. Number four. I'm just going to mention them and we pray. And we go home and celebrate. Number four. This new dawn we bring testimonies. Testimonies. <laughs> Look, I love sharing testimonies and I love hearing them. Look, there, there are things that someone cannot do to you, but when you hear testimonies, your faith will arise. Testimonies. We were like them that dreamed. That's what he said. Then if you look at verse 2, he said, Then they sang among the nations. The Lord has done great things for them. In ambassadors this year, the Lord will do great things for you. Last one, number five. I have a lot of explanation, but let's close this meeting. Number five. This new dawn will give you fresh starts and opportunities. You know beggars don't have a choice. Slaves don't have a right. But when God turns the captivity of slaves, they will have a right. He said, we cried as we went out to plant our seed. Now let us celebrate in bringing the crop. Get on your feet. Let's pray. Seven prayer points. 10 seconds each. Are you ready? Are you sure? Number one, I want to pray. Say, Father, for the rest of this year, I will laugh. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I will laugh. I will smile. I will smile. I go to Robra Gadiga do Satali Abakusta. Yes, I will laugh. I will laugh. I will laugh. Gain a shida. I gain the real Satayana. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, Father, for the rest of this year, anything that is going this way but is not right, I receive a turn around. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Any way, any path that is not right, in the name of Jesus, I receive a turnaround. I receive a turnaround. I walk a turnaround. I move with a turnaround. By the Spirit of the Living God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I go to Bayenda Lakasada, Ayekete Regregede Brokustalaba, Zene Kaina Shida, Mano Konto Ragenaina Sika Potoyondo, Arigarabasta. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Number three, say, Father, every stranger in my life that I cherish and I'm celebrating, but they are causing me slowness. They are causing me stagnancy. Let me, come, sir. Let me explain it. You will say, Father, every stranger in my life that I love, that I play with, that I like, that I look forward to seeing, but they are slowing him down. In the name of Jesus, separate us. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Mama Koto Bayanda, Jegede Brokoto, separate us. Ejekio Lobosh, Dakalota, Lakoto Yanda, separate me by fire, by force. Every stranger that is causing me to be slow, and I don't even know. Makupati Aladi Aronda, Ezeye Lobosh. 
Gagadia la bossa, naina kayanda la boshi da la bata, aragadia le boshta. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say from the north, from the south, I can't hear you. From the east, from the west, as the Lord liveth, surprises, good ones, excellent ones, find me. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Ayento la gadia shada. A broken to Yalabosha, a Ganino Soto, a Yandariana Mosa. Find me, find me in the name of Jesus. Find me, O Lanto Rone Cashenderiana. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You would do your hand like this, like you want to count. Oh, yeah, show me. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. So you will now specify the kind of testimonies you want. Me, I know my own. But I can borrow you for out of it. You will say in the name of Jesus, testimonies that are verifiable, that are quantifiable, that are surprising, that are international. So if you want more, add it. I won't send it into the microphone. I borrowed you enough. Father, send them to me this year. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Gayelebo shandaria gatoyanda, agerebo shadaliada. Father, quantifiable testimonies, uncommon testimonies, supernatural testimonies, divine testimonies, testimonies that come with rest, testimonies that come with peace. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let me tell you the picture. We take the last prayer point. Let me tell you the picture that I have. Sir, is this your Bible? Please come forward. I want to tell you the picture the Lord is giving me. I don't know who. It looks like one person here. Hold it. Now, if I want to give you something that is heavy, that you've been praying for and you want, and I'm bringing it, and I want to give it to you, what do you do first? What will you do so that you can be able to collect it from me? Then you will drop this. Then you say, excuse me, you go and drop that. Then you will come back. Abby, then I'll give it to you. So go back. That's the picture that I have in my spirit. I feel that there are people here, the reason why you can't get the fullness of God is that there are things you're holding on to that is holding you down. And what he told me is, why we're going to all take this prayer point, if that is who you are, you come forward. Just come forward. You go on your knees and you tell, say, Father, I, I let it go. You know it. If you are the one, this one, if you are contemplating whether it's you or not, then it's not you. Am I making sense? It's very clear. It's very, very clear. There is something that is taking away your gaze from heaven. You love God. You would love to serve him, but you are struggling. So while you, if you are that person, just come forward, come and do it at the altar, and you sort it out. After then, you go back to your seat. Now, all of us, if you are not coming to the altar, the prayer we are going to pray is very simple. If, once you get to the altar, don't wait for me. Just go on your knees. I will come and pray for you later and ask you to go. But that is what is very strong in my spirit. We cannot take that excess baggage again into 2019. We can't continue. You know there's something that is disturbing you from serving God. There's something. Some of you are not workers. You've been in this church like forever. This is a year to serve. Sincerely, you better take this seriously. Tell him, this is the first day of the year. I will not go with this. You know it is. If it's a person, tell, the, tell God, Daddy, I let go of this guy. I let go of this woman. I'm letting go. I'm letting go of this habit. You know it. You know it's stressing you. It's stressing you. Now, if you are not coming out, pray your own prayer point. Very simple. Say, Father, give me a new dawn. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. For people in front, I'm going to give you two more minutes. Cry to God. Talk to him. Come on, talk to him. Tell him, Lord, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to start afresh. I let go. Daddy, I'm dropping it at the altar. Behavior. Relationships. Kayolobo Shandaria options. Submit it. Submit it now. Talk to him. No, keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. I'm just encouraging you. Talk to him. Magali Bosha. Come on, talk to him. Do it now. Now, now, now. This is a real opportunity for you. God, I want to serve you. I want to please you. Talk to him. It's in my hand. I'm letting it go. 
Give me whatever it is that you want to give me. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, we pray for these ones that have come to the altar in response to your word. Daddy, we pray that you sanctify them. You give them a new beginning. Give them strength to do what is right. Take them permanently away from disobedience. Take them permanently away from sin. Take them permanently away from darkness. Every resolve, every resolution, every decision they've taken now, let heaven honor them. Confusion will not follow you. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please go back to your seat. Everybody stand up. Oh, you don't want them? Okay, come, 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 please. My, okay, please come. My, my, sorry. Please just follow my sister. Sorry, I, I broke protocol there. Please just sit down there. Or st where you are there too, let's stand up. Let me bless you. Everybody stretch your hand to the altar. Just stretch your hand to the altar. Mashigadabasata. Please stretch your hands to the altar. I decree for the rest of this year you will laugh. There will be roads in your desert. Streams will flow in your desert. God will surprise you. There will be a turnaround. <laughs> Everything you have been desiring to touch, they will bring it to you. Strangers will help you. January we answer to you. February we obey you. March will move you forward. April we respect you. May we answer you. Listen, June and July we follow you to greatness. August and September we smile on you. In the name of Jesus. In October and November you will not struggle. By December celebration is your portion. We shall be well with you. As you walk out of this meeting, Manuku Shatalia, your phones will ring for joy. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Come on, put your hands together for the Almighty. God bless you. You can take your seat. I just want you to stretch forth your hands to our pastor. If you've been blessed, if God has blessed you, just stretch forth your hand to our pastor and ask God to water him back in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we ask, Lord my God, that you water him back in the name of Jesus. That a new dawn of higher levels, a new dawn of international breakthroughs, a new dawn of great things, endless celebration, endless lifting in the name of Jesus commences even in his life in the name of Jesus so shall it be in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we are prayed I want you to just put your hands in your pocket and um, let's put our offering a love offering this Sunday uh, this this very first service of the year as we rise to take the offering we'll just um, I want you to note that um, this Sunday is our Thanksgiving service and it's the first Thanksgiving service in the year 2019. And we are expected, let us dress in our, go to the bottom of our boxes. Hallelujah. And wear very, very great stuff in celebration of God. Hallelujah. So here on Sunday, we're going to be dancing, we're going to be celebrating. And I want you to come, um, brother, our brother is, bro Wale is showing us a star of, one of the stars we'll be expecting on Sunday. So, so just make sure you are there. Hallelujah. We have a number of inspiration here this morning. Let us rise as we give our offering. And um, we're ending the service at now. You alone are worthy, Lord. To be praised and adored, you alone are worthy, Lord. You alone to be praised and adored. You've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages, from the ages past, that is why your name is 
forevermore. Father, you've been faithful, Lord, yeah. From the ages past, from the ages past. That is why, that is why your name, hallelujah. We say you alone, you alone are worthy, Lord. You alone to be praised. You alone, yes, you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Father, you've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past. That is why your name. You are worthy your praise. Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy your praise. Oh, Papa, oh, Papa, oh, Papa, oh, Papa, oh. Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy your praise. Hey, Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy your praise. Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy your praise. Hey, Papa, I lift you up. You are worthy your praise. Oh, Papa, I praise your name. You are worthy your praise. Hey, God, we bless your name for the opportunity to give. We thank you, Lord, even for everything you've been to us and what you're doing in our lives. And for the plan you have for us in 2019, Lord, we bless your name. We'll say, Lord, we're grateful, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Accept our offering this morning and let it be used to your glory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Um, we're going to be having the second sermon coming up now and um, so please um, just spare me the next two hours God will really bless you <laughs> hallelujah I release you now to go and um, take your fried rice and your love rice and um, everything you want to take hallelujah let the celebration start don't start thinking about the fasting that is coming soon with the announcement will come with the grace. So don't worry about that. Okay, there will be, on Wednesday, there will be a communion service. That's tomorrow. Please, there will be a communion service tomorrow. And that will be the first communion in 2019. Hallelujah. Don't miss it. Be here on Wednesday. That's tomorrow by 6 p.m. There will be a communion service in this place. And on Sunday, we'll be having our Thanksgiving service and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Wish somebody a happy new year. God bless you. Have a great time. <laughs>